Hello and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. Today I'm showing you how to play Vercingetorix against Spearmen and Pikemen. You can see that I and my friend sneak through the Herodon's Wall. I am in this forest, my friend made a bit of a not so wise move of running straight head on. So his dogs are fighting and I'm setting up the flames. Since the Spearmen are one of the strongest defensive units in the game, it isn't the wisest decision to go head on and Vercingetorix has a way to counter it, the flame. So I'm going to draw a flame under them and probably gonna force them to maneuver, while my other unit is coming from the rear and going for a flank. My two units down left here can deal with the spearmen, the spearmen are going to die soon and this one is going to flank them from behind. So as you can see the flanking is still quite effective if you have a team. But when fighting head on, the fire can make a lot of difference. Although it can do lots of damage to you, it is best to use it uh, before the opponent engages you. Just throw it from the direction they're coming from, like I did with my spearmen here. As you can see, I was running out of forest while they engaged me. I drew down the scorched dirt. They actually even made a small charge, it seems, but suddenly turned back. So that gave me even more perfect moment to fight them. They were in the middle of my fire, I had two units attacking them. Although my units take the fire damage, it isn't as lethal. My units get slight burns compared to them. Now back to the going on game. So my units have destroyed all of the spearmen, well almost all of them. They aren't much of a threat and were destroyed quite easily. In overall, if you can stay in the forest, I would suggest it highly, because forest is where the barbarians get most bonuses. Out in the open, they are quite easily destroyed by cavalry or archers. Cavalry can't affect them that well in the forest because they get a lot of minuses, minus stats. And uh, the barbarians get bonus stats in the forest. So, being killed most of these opponents here, I'm going to have to engage the archers and pikemen. Pikemen are really annoying, they can lock down a lot of areas and just hold the ground. That's why the Vercingetorix Scorched Earth ability is so great against them. Set fire and they will have to reposition themselves. Although bikes deploy really fast for this game, I think they should still be reworked. They can still be somewhat countered. As you can see right now, the bike men just deployed themselves in a matter of seconds and it worked for them. As of most players would uh, not try to engage bike men because of they are really fast to deploy and even if you engage them after they have deployed they will still push you back. You can just see it right here and now how fast and strong it is. Time to use fire now because going head on just destroyed one of my units. So hopefully this will affect them enough for me to be able to mess with them. Here you can also see how strong the pikemen are. They are actually pretty decent to withstand a lot of damage. I'm trying to actually run around them, but they just came in and put their pikes up. This deployment is practically a joke because it's just so strong. But fortunately, most of my units got behind them and will try and deal with them. So, they got easily routed right now, but that isn't always the case. There are many moments when pikemen just don't get routed and you're trying over and over and over again. So running on to the castle, there are even more pikemen waiting for me. So about a minute has passed and I'm hiding myself in the forest, I haven't got much units left. Fortunately for me, I have this morale freezing ability. So my commander unit has not yet escaped. Or routed, for that matter. Now I'm going to try and play against pikemen once again. A bit with the fire and a bit with the swords, I guess. The fire is set and the archers are running. Okay, it's about time to act, so the bikemen are running and I'm going to have to engage them from two sides. Hopefully it will work for me. My units charged in and blocked them from using the pikes or deploy pikes ability. I sent my other unit in just to make sure that he could not use deploy pikes. Fortunately for me, I am routing them quite fast. It's uh, working for me, but... Uh, yeah, he's gaining some morale, which isn't great. And the other bikes have turned around and been deployed. I can probably destroy this unit, but I can't destroy the other one without any help. So there are also a bit archers firing at me. I can't do much about that. 
At least most of my tasks are done here. I destroyed uh, 3 spare units and 2 pike units. Also with some help. As you can see he tried to like bait me into his pikes. They activate real fast. And I'm trying to play with fire once again. So now I just have to wait the cooldown, which is 15 seconds, to set another fire. That is lucky moment. But it's Leonidas and he shield bashed me. Now he just deploys the pikes and it's pretty much game over for me. I still got a bit damage done from the sides, but yeah. The worst thing that pikes have is that uh, when you are engaged with the pikes and you try to disengage from them, they will still do a lot of damage to you. You can't disengage properly because the pikes can be offensive. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.